Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yutzi. In our top story, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Mayor Daniel Rickerman hosted the annual Isabel Law Breakfast, which focuses on assisting those who are survivors of breast cancer through a fundraising effort. This has been a, a 21 year tradition um, here in the city of Columbia, and it really is an effort of heart. It comes from deep down inside where every employee, everybody in the city takes part, and really to try to make this a, a successful event. But this is really about celebrating survivors, trying to change the, the breast cancer and how it is affecting our lives. Well, that was a great breakfast and you can still participate or support the effort by buying a t-shirt from one of our locations in the city of Columbia. T-shirts are for sale for $15 and can be purchased at City Hall located at 1737 Main Street or at the city's payment center located at 3000 Harden Street. Again, that's $15 and cash or checks are accepted. Please support this effort by buying a t-shirt today. October is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month and Mayor Daniel Rickerman will be hosting the annual Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence. Please join the City of Columbia on Saturday, October 29th at Page Ellington Park at 10 a.m. At 9 a.m., you can actually visit exhibitors who have information regarding domestic violence awareness and you can get information from advocates for those who may be seeking assistance. Again, the walk is Saturday, October 29th at Page Ellington Park, beginning at 10 a.m. for the walk, 9 a.m. for all open exhibits. Registration is absolutely free. Please visit Eventbrite and look for the Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence, or you can visit our website at columbiasc.gov in order to register and receive more details. And October continues to be a very busy month because it is also Code Compliance Month which focuses on code enforcement efforts throughout the nation and of course right here in the city of Columbia. To kick off the month, code enforcement staff were presented with a proclamation by city council members during the October 4th meeting. Also, interviews have been held on local media outlets and there's an, an effort underway to share information about 10 tips to make you a better neighbor. Well, I mean, it affects the overall quality of life of your neighbors and, and people who are visiting Columbia. They like to see that Columbia is, is neat, well-kept, clean, a uh, clean place to be. But a lot, a lot, of, code of, a lot of code enforcement um, violations are quality of life and life safety issues, so it, it, it's safer, make us, makes for a safer environment. Be a good neighbor, do your part. So again, during October, which is Code Enforcement Compliance Month, be a good neighbor and do your part. And speaking of being a good neighbor, we also want to make sure that you learn how to love your block. The Love Your Block grant program was recently announced by Mayor Daniel Rickerman, and here's more details about how you can participate. Hello, Columbia. I'm excited to announce Love Your Block grant program. This is for neighborhood associations who are interested in making a difference in their community. Eligible projects include cleanup efforts, beautification, revamp signage, and neighborhood events. The grant application is now open and the deadline is Thursday, November 10th. To apply or receive more information, please visit communitydevelopment.columbiasc.gov or email Charmaine Clark at charmaine.clark at columbiasc.gov. And now moving from our neighborhoods into our business community. Recently, two new businesses opened in different parts of our city. Beauty Art by Roy recently opened in North Columbia in the Eau Claire community and a Healing Touch Chiropractic opened their doors on Elmwood Avenue. That this building had been empty since when? 80, 1980. 1980. And this is my district and one of the things we want to do is make sure we start using these empty buildings and putting some life in them. And if you were to ask me, I really want black people to own the buildings, okay? Right. Is that okay for me to say? And so, um, I'm not a shamrock, I'm a raider, and mm. there are a few raiders out there. It's okay, I mean, I just gotta say it. Y'all know I gotta say it, I'm That's a raider. Right. 
But uh, for me, it's always been critical, and one of the reasons why I ran for city council is because this area is changing, and I want to make sure that African American people who've been here all these years have some ownership. Yeah. So thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming out and sharing this uh, awesome occasion with me. Um, I'm going to cut the ribbon. This is really not our grand opening, but it's more so our celebration, 15 years and the dedication of our new building, 901 Elmwood Avenue. So um, this is my little boy, Aiden Lucas Robinson. He's what keeps me going. Um, he's my heart. And um, he's gonna help me cut the ribbon. Okay. And now for an item in order for our planning ahead folks. It's time to participate and apply for scholarships for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dreamkeeper Scholarship Awards. Scholarship process is now open. Please visit our website at ColumbiaSC.gov if you know of a student who would need to apply for these scholarships in order to assist with furthering their education. Again, that's the Dr. Martin Luther King Dreamkeeper Award Scholarships. Applications are now being accepted. And that wraps up City View. We'll be bringing you an inside view from the City of Columbia. Please continue to watch us right here on our City TV platforms on Spectrum, Channel 1301, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV, as well as the City's YouTube channel. You can also connect with us through social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, our website provides 24-hour information around the clock at ColumbiaSC.gov. And of course, if you need to contact us by phone, please contact Public Relations Media and Marketing by calling us at 803-545-3020 or send us an email at pio at columbiasc.gov. And speaking of that email address, you can also email us if you'd like to join our email network for our weekly and monthly newsletters. Thank you for joining us, and remember, we are Columbia.